everyone, it's CL and welcome back to my latest installment of Book Rants where I rant about all things related to books. And if you're interested in other book related videos, feel free to check out my booktube playlist. There's plenty of book related videos there. Other than that, let's go ahead and get into it. And when it comes to books, one of the things that really bothers me is ambiguous endings. Those books that don't really have an ending and the author kind of leaves it up to the reader to decide what happened to the characters. Now I really dislike these types of endings and when you pick up a book it's not really like there's any sort of disclaimer to let you know hey after you read through all these pages when you get to the end you kind of have to finish writing the story yourself. When I pick up a book I have the expectation that the author is going to tell me a story from beginning to end and when you leave me with an ambiguous ending I feel like the author is forcing me to finish writing the book for them. I as a reader do not want to decide what happened to the characters. I want you the author to tell me very clearly how did your book end. And another thing that really bothers me when it comes to books is that when it comes to the retail stores they always offer incentives for new customers like hey if you are a new customer if you become a new member then we will give you all sorts of these promotions and discounts and coupons but what about us loyal customers I feel as a loyal customer that we should get most of the perks because we're the ones that continue to return and continue to purchase things from your establishment. I feel like it's a little bit backwards. Like new customers get the most incentives for being a new customer, but us loyal customers, us frequent customers who are always coming back to purchase things in their establishment, we're not given very many perks. I think like Barnes and Noble and I don't work there so if you do work there please correct me. I am a Barnes and Noble member but I feel like I only get coupons like every quarter or is it every six months. All I know it's not frequent enough. I feel like as someone who shops there so frequently that I should get a little more incentive for being such a loyal customer to keep me as a loyal customer. That's so I guess that's what really bothers me is that us loyal customers are essentially forgotten about, that we are not as important as new customers. Now another thing that bothers me when it comes to books is the price of brand new books. Now I know you can wait until your library gets it in stock or you can wait to buy it second hand or at a discount, but when you're waiting anxiously for a brand new book to be released and you want to read it immediately, the price of brand new books are kind of really expensive if, if you think about it. So say you go to the bookstore, you really want to pick up this brand new book, you don't have a coupon because you already use your one coupon you get every quarter to six months, you already use that for something else. So you buy this brand new book at full price and what is the cost of full price books these days? I want to say is between $21 and $25 for a brand new hardcover book. And if you think about that, that can get pretty pricey, especially if you are someone that buys and reads books regularly, that can really add up. Now I know some of you are saying that I shouldn't complain about this because I should be willing to support my author. You should support your author, your favorite author, you should show your support by buying their books. And it's not that I'm not supporting my author, I do want to support my author, I do want to read their book. But at the same time, I kind of also need to support myself and be able to have the funds to pay my own bills. So realistically, if you're buying books $21 to $25 on a regular basis, if you just buy four of those, that's, that's a lot of money that adds up really quickly. Now I kind of relate buying new books to buying a brand new car. They say when you buy a brand new car, once you drive it off the lot, it decreases in value. That's how I feel buying new books is like. Once you buy a brand new hardcover book at full price, once you take it home and read it, it's already decreased in value. Because if you think about it, after you read it, unless you're going to reread it several times, it's just going to like sit in your closet. If you decide to sell it, it's going to be sold for a very, very, very discounted price. Like if you sell it on Amazon, by the time other people are kind of looking to buy a book secondhand, they're expecting it to be at least half price, if not less than half price. They are looking for a genuine deal. So in that sense, when I think about buying brand new books, 
that is one reason why I'm very selective in what books I will purchase brand new without a coupon or any sort of gift card. So yes, when it comes to books, I really feel that they are just pricing them way too high. Okay, so for my last rant for the video, it is going to cover the topic of romance novels. Now recently I did pick up and provide commentary of what I thought about a romance novel that I decided to read going in blind. It did not go very well and that kind of led me to this rant that I think when it comes to romance novels, since there are so many subgenres and some of those subgenres can kind of lean towards the extreme, I feel that romance novels, their synopsis, really need to be very transparent to let the reader know what they're going to get themselves into. I have picked up a handful of romance novels. I've not been able to finish one of them because I've kind of been tricked into picking it up. When you read the back cover and the synopsis is very vague, it says, A girl is running from her past. She has an unexpected encounter with a dark-haired man. Um, somehow, some way, they are going on the run together and they need to somehow learn to survive in an imperfect world. Something super vague, right? Um, and they label it as romance. Now, if they were to be very transparent in their synopsis, a lot of the books that I happened to pick up that were labeled as romance would have more of a synopsis like it would be more along the lines of abusive relationship, lackluster sex, male main character constantly tries to convince the reader that he has a big dick and spoiler alert it's not nearly as big as his ego you know so I think when it comes to romance novels they need to be very transparent what kind of romance we are we the reader are getting ourselves into. All right, so that concludes this installment of Book Rants. Please let me know what you think about these topics that I covered in this video down below in the comments. If you are interested in my previous installment of Book Rants, please check out the link that I will have down below. Other than that, thank you for watching and I will see you later.